All right, so here is a uh, Tycho Bray Octavia clone. We got this in uh, random dark blues with lightning bolts and great chicken heads. It's a pretty good look. Got your uh, purple LED because that's important. And then the controls on this, uh, we have volume, which is just the overall volume of the effect. Uh, you have the gain, um, also known as the uh, intensity in this circuit, which will uh, increase the gain. But also as the gain goes up, the octave kind of goes down uh, a little bit. Sorry, my lighting's all weird. And then we have a pre-gain, which is kind of like just a secondary volume knob after the guitar and before the circuit and that allows you to um, if you have a really hot pickup you can actually turn this down and that'll retain some of the uh, octave up quality because uh, you do lose that with more drive um, so you'll see that as we get into this I'm just going to run through a different settings or a couple different settings and uh, also had a couple people ask me about the, um, the choppy stuttery effect that this does and how to do that. So I'm actually going to back the camera out and uh, show some playing here and uh, try to get it to do that as well so you can see what I'm actually doing there. Alright, take two. I'm going to try to see if I can do this in under 12 minutes. I just, I just kept noodling. Alright, such a fun effect. Alright, playing through Classic 30 directly into it um, on the lead channel. <coughs> gains about six and a half which is it goes to 12 so it's, it's halfway so that's where I am on that starting out with single coils in the neck um, I've got a couple different uh, humbucker on the bridge so I'm going to just kind of go back and forth I'm going to play around with the tone knob a little bit that really affects the way the octave uh, comes through and uh, everybody wanted to see the uh, the chippity chop effect so I'll, uh, I'll try to throw that in there and uh, and one thing I'll just point this out now because I do it all the time anyway um, you'll notice this effect adds some crazy overtones obviously that's the whole point of the Octavia but um, you'll notice when you do something like like any type of uh, double stop bend um, or a compound bend. I don't. I'm not a technical guitarist. Sorry. Um, but I'll be bending up, and that overtone goes down over top of it, and it's uh, it's this crazy just cacophony. So uh, to start off, I got my volume uh, just about unity. Gain is all the way down. I've um, got the pre-gain all the way up for now. I'll fiddle with that in a little bit. Starting out on a single coil. sacrifice of fuzz and that's kind of this whole pedal is a balance between that just completely gnarly fuzz and that octave up and uh, the less fuzz the more octave you know and vice versa um, so it's just finding the balance that you like and you can get the same thing kind of with a, rolling that volume back oh, sorry pre-gain on there is kind of a set it and forget it. So you can set that exactly to you know your main guitar and then you don't have to mess with your volume, just play your volume at 10 when it's when it's time to make crazy noises and you're good to go. So let's uh, keep tweaking around. I'm gonna get a little more gain on here.
or something and the sound just cut it completely out and I was like neato um, and, I, and I don't know the science behind it it's just a it's a very gated fuzz at full gain and I think as soon as the signal drops just below max it just cuts completely off and then when you pop your hand back off it you know it's, it's enough of a pull off I guess for the string to uh, kind of push back through the gate so super fun though you want to get your Tom morello -y type things on. So that's the uh, Taiko Brian Octavia. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.